Hey guys, how's it going? Jeff here, also known as the Vanilla Gorilla. So if you're here for the first time and you're looking for a gypsy with a pet albino gorilla, you're at the wrong channel. Nope, this is Jeff, my wife Tammy. Uh, we live in rural, uh, rural area in Northwest Ohio and we do gardening in, on a lot of different things. So there's, our channel has a variety of uploads, but a garden's a big part of our life and uh, we upload for our garden all year and now we also upload for um, and keep track of it through Shed Wars which is also a nice uh, garden community here on YouTube. Uh, last year we uploaded a few videos for the single seed challenge and I had no idea what it even was. So um, it was kind of confusing to people I'm sure. Some people said I shouldn't have been in it I guess. Um, I don't know. I didn't have any idea what it was. I saw a lot of videos. I just kind of followed along. I did film uh, my Cherokee tomatoes and a pineapple tomato from when I planted it until harvest time. Um, but it wasn't really uh, separated into videos. This year, I'm going to have a complete playlist, complete series, just for the single seed challenge, like it was designed over at Scott Head's channel. Um, when they came up with it and I've been watching those videos and I've watched some of the other videos already um, So I'm really excited to be a part of this this year and um, We've chosen which seeds we're going to try to do and I'm actually going to pick two uh, two different um, Varieties of the same species and I'll explain why here later But I've got a lot of seeds started already and you can see here behind me they're doing well, but this isn't about a lot of seeds. This is about picking one seed and watching it go from start to flourishing and, and, and to fruit and to harvest. So what I do with this seed, how we take care of it from start to finish. Hope you guys are excited. I'm excited. Let's check this out. Uh, if you're first, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe to our channel before we get any further. So that way, when I upload these, you're notified. And you can follow along from start to finish, which is starting today, until the end of this season. And you can see um, all the progress of the single seed challenge that we've picked. So let's check it out. pick a seed for your single seed challenge um, you know anything really goes I'm gonna pick something um, one actually two different seeds I'm gonna pick one seed from each uh, variety and uh, the reason I'm going to do that is because they're both um, purple cherry tomatoes now one we got from Arkansas woodcutter who got this from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. These are the uh, Brad's Atomic Grapes. Seeds. And then I have some that we've collected from last year's harvest. And we keep our seeds from year to year. So one's gonna be a store-bought seed and one's going to be, now these aren't atomic grapes, these are just a purple cherry tomato. But uh, last year we had a tomato, we took the seeds out of it, spread it out on this paper towel, labeled it. We do this with a lot of various seeds, peppers, tomatoes, and things. Now you can take them off a lot of the seeds that aren't, um, don't have this gooey substance and liquidy stickiness. They're easy to take off the paper towel, but the tomatoes and stuff, they stay on the paper towel. I'll just leave them on there. Keeps them dry, keeps them from molding. But for this challenge, we have to have one seed. So I'm going to go through this, and I'm going to pick one great seed that I think is going to be perfect for this challenge. And we'll see if we can get it to come up. This looks like a good one. So part of the paper towel comes up with it. So I'm going to show you this seed that I'm pulling off this paper towel. We're going to plant the paper towel seed and 
all. Right there, can you see it? Can you see that? Maybe it won't focus. There's a little seed right there. plant that in this pot. Now before I did that, I took this uh, rapid test, fairly cheap on Amazon, checks the fertility, uh, light, moisture, and pH. And uh, I mean you can pretty much tell if it's moist enough, but pH all right, we got this heated up, and it wasn't six and a half, but I heated the soil up right before we uh, started this, so um, it's down to about a six now in pH, so the stuff in the soil is activating. Now, the fertility says it's right at ideal, maybe a little too low, so we're going to make sure and watch that over time, but with the pH balance being six, I... Yep, same there, six point something, just above six. Fertility, that says too little, right at ideal. We'll keep an eye on that. Um, the greenhouse effect will help with that because I will put a cover over these and get some moisture in the air too. So, to plant this, make sure there's nothing hard on the top of the surface. But you should have sifted your soil. This is just a seed starting mix, little uh, peat moss and humus and just some nice dirt that stays moist. And we are going to want to put this on a tray, you want to keep this completely moist. Now, since this is a single seed and I'm doing this, I'm going to kind of break up the soil right underneath it, make sure there's nothing really too extreme right there because this is a pretty, you know, I have compost and uh, wood chips and and I don't want any of that restricting its growth so I just kind of want to fluff this up right here where I'm going to put this seed and I don't always do that but I am going to do that for this guy tear off some of that extra paper towel and I'm going to take the one seed we'll call her Betty from last year plant Betty right in there well it's probably a quarter inch below the soil and I'm just going to lightly cover it. And now we're going to pick our one seed from the Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. Kind of dump some of these out and look at them. Some of these came all bunched together. They are heirloom seeds so kind of like taking it off a paper towel. Let's see if I can find a good one in here. This looks like a good one and that's our single seed we're going to use from the Baker Creek now we'll put that down here and I'm going to kind of fluff this up that way both of these have the same start everything in the soil is all the same starting them on the same day they'll be in the same location and we'll just see what the difference is between buying seeds, at least from Baker Creek, and the ones we save. Could be a big difference. And uh, one of these doesn't come up, you know, that's going to make a big difference too. So this ought to be interesting. We'll see how this starts out. Stay tuned. We'll, we'll post uh, Saturdays with our garden and shed war videos. We're doing garden videos until uh, shed war starts, and then it'll turn into shed war videos. And uh, so we'll have that and our single seed challenges going up on Saturdays. So if you're new here, hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel so you can be updated as we uh, continue these seeds. And all the other things we do. If you don't like all the stuff on our channel, you don't have to watch it. I break it up into playlists. Uh, we do do a variety of things. There are some other things you may enjoy, though. So check those out. Um, and we're
we're glad you're here. So, single seed challenge. Looking forward to this year. Looking forward to all the channels and all the videos that are going up. And I hope you guys stay tuned. So, till next time, grow something. So, the purple cherry tomato that we saved from last year's tomato, we named her Betty. Brad's Atomic Grape that we got from Arkansas Woodcutter, we named her Marge. Betty and Marge. Did you just tell me about Betty and Marge? Betty and Marge are my aunts who have both passed. Um, my only aunt on my dad's side was my Aunt Marge, and the only aunt that I knew on my mom's side was my Aunt Betty, so I thought it was kind of cool that he picked those names and then I shared that with him.